Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a map chart in both Excel and Google Sheets. So in this example, I've got sales broken down by country. And so if I wanna plot this out on a map chart in Excel, it's a fairly straightforward process. All we have to do is just select our data set on the insert tab, open up charts. And by default, it may recommend a filled map because it detects that we've got countries in here. But if it doesn't, you can go to all charts and it's under the map section for a filled map. So if I hit okay, we see that preview in there. And so with a filled map, we can see the values. So the larger values are a darker shade of blue, blue in this case, where the, whereas the smaller ones are a lighter shade. And where there's no data, you can see it's it's gray. So that's where I'm missing missing information. And just like any any chart in Excel, you can um, use different chart styles. So up here, we've got different options, different ways to display it. So you may prefer a, a, a black background that'll help emphasize the, the countries that do have data versus the ones that don't. In that case, they're filled in black and so they're not really visible. Um, at all, so it makes it more clear that there's no data for those those parts of the world. Now you can modify this color scheme if you wanted to. I mean, one way is an option is to go to the change colors here. If you wanted to toggle between these different options, what you can also do is right click on your chart and select format data series. And then there's an option here for series color. And so right now we've got a sequential two color scheme, but we can set it up to a three color scheme. So we've got a low, a middle, and a high. So for the low, let's say we use a light shade of green. For the middle is a green. And then for the highest value, perhaps a, a bright shade of green. So now we've got even more variation in our charts. We can see the largest values are our dark green. Then we have a lighter shade of green and then even a lighter a shade than that. So that's some of the ways that you can customize the look of your of your map chart to have a bit more more data in your visualization to make it easier to compare one region to another. There are also options for uh, map map projections, but these ones because we've got the entire entire world set up, it's not going to be a whole lot different based on based on the look of it. Um, the map area is set to automatic. We can say only regions with data, but that's gonna make it e e look a little bit funnier in that we don't even have the outline now of those countries, or we can just specify to the world, which in this case is gonna be the same as automatic because we've got countries from all over the world. Map labels, you can also add, so it'll automatically fit in where it makes sense to, to fit those. And you can do show all, but of course that could be a bit more crowded and difficult to read. So I'll turn it off for now. But those are some of the options you can apply for, for map charts in Excel. So as you can see, really easy to set up. Just go to insert chart. And then it's just a matter of setting up how you want your, your scale to, to look. If you want two colors, if you want three, and what you want your background to look like. Now let's switch over to Google Sheets. And for this example, I've added another field for average sale price that I'm gonna use in a little bit. But first, I'm gonna show you how we can create the same type of map chart in Google Sheets. So I'm gonna select just these, just these two columns here for country and sales, and then select insert chart. And by default, it selects a histogram, which is not what I want. So I'm gonna select the option for map. So there's another geo chart, which is the same thing as that filled map that we saw in Excel. And as you can see, same sort of same sort of setup here. We've got our, our colors filled in. And so we've got the uh, same type of customization that, that we can apply here. So for the chart style, we can set our background or border color just like with any other charts. And under the geo settings, you can specify a min, maximum, mid. And in this case, you can even specify the color for um, when there, when there's no value as well. There's an additional thing you can do and that's with the, the region settings. You can actually zoom in on a part of the world, even though, um, you've got everything filled in. You can zoom in on, let's say North America. You notice the scale still is going to, uh, say the same. It's not going to adjust based on, 
um, your selection. So it's still going to remain intact. You're basically just zooming in onto a certain area. So let's say we look at South America, you know, Europe, whatever range you wanted to look at, whatever area you wanted to look at. It's a lot easier to zoom in on those parts in Google Sheets. Um, whereas Excel, it'll, it'll use an auto detection to determine which part of the world um, your data set is, is, is covering. So with Google Sheets, it gives you a bit more flexibility. Even if you've got the entire map filled in, you can focus on individual regions like that. Now there is another map as, as I showed you, um, in the geo next to the geo chart, there's one for a geo chart with markers. So instead of filling in, um, the actual countries, it's going to put in these circles. So I'm going to go back to customize and let's take a look at the world. So we've got these circles filled in. So the, the drawback of this is obviously it doesn't look as nice. We don't see the countries filled in entirely, but it gives us an additional variable to use. So if I go back to the setup tab here, I can adjust my range to now include that average sale price. So I've set it up. So we've got the average sale price is the largest for North American countries and smallest for the, the Asian countries. So we'll notice that there is a change in the shape of these circles. So North America right now, fairly small, but once we adjust this to include column C, now we can add the size dimension here for the average sale price. And by doing so, we can see those circles get a lot larger. So now we basically have three metrics we can compare against. So you can see the size of the circle telling us the average sales price and the color tells us the actual dollar amount. So we can see China's sales are still um, the largest. That's why they've got that, that, that green circle, whereas Canada's a much smaller. So that's why it's got a, a red colored circle. So it gives us another dimension, another way to visualize this data. Now, the reason I, I set it up this way with first selecting the first two, uh, two columns is because if you try to do this with three columns and try to set this up, by inserting a chart and using those markers, you're gonna see it's it's hard to set that up because now it's trying to detect the latitude and longitude and it, it's hard to, to make this chart work in exactly the same way, right? Even if we switch rows, it, it gets a little bit messy to try to get this, this data set to work. So it's a lot easier if what you first do is select these first two columns, create your chart and select your markers and then once you've done that then you can add the size here i still don't have that capability until i expand this range to include column c now i can select that size and now i've got that same sort of layout so that's just one tricky thing to watch out for if you're using those those uh that geo chart with markers just to make sure that first you're selecting um your your part of the world and then the sales dollar amount and then your third variable add that after um, for the size of your, your circles. That'll make it a lot easier to set it up as opposed to trying to select all your fields and then doing it at once. But the advantage of using Google Sheets over Excel in this case, you've got a bit more flexibility in that you've got this additional chart option to select from and you can zoom in on in particular parts of the world, even if you've got data filled in for the entire world. So you're not limited to just where you've got um, data filled in. But other than that, whether you're creating map charts in Excel or Google Sheets, the process is fairly similar and straightforward. Just select your data, insert a chart, and as long as you've got the country names listed um, and it can recognize them, then it shouldn't be an issue in plotting them out. So hope you liked this video. If you did, please make sure to subscribe and leave a like. Thanks for watching.